Okay, so I'm starting off in the books area because I don't usually go through this section, but I started reading and I found some books that I already have. And I thought it was cool that I found the series and I wish that I didn't buy them already. So um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I might start incorporating that. But that dress, I don't know what brand it was, but it was marked up to $20. I thought that was crazy. And this is the new rack. I just wanted to show you guys so that you can make sure to check out that section every time um, you see it because sometimes there are amazing brands. And right now I'm just going through the dresses section. I was looking for Valentine's Day items i know it's very late but i wanted to incorporate that for my whatnot show and i was just mainly focusing on the pink and red and white items so i am going through all the sections but i prioritize those sections first so that's what i usually do when i enter the thrift and i kind of skim to see like the print that i want or the style and then i'll look at just because sometimes there are a lot of things that i am not interested in so i don't want to waste my time this was a Zara dress that I've been looking for. Um, the only thing was that there was like a snag on the back. Um, so I didn't get that. And this was such a beautiful dress. I will talk about it later. The comps I'm showing you guys on the screen right now. This is the sold comps. And some of these dresses were selling for a really high price. So I was excited to find that. And then I went to the denim section because I always have to look at the jeans. And this was a nice pair of J brand jeans. But I don't really sell J brand jeans because... I don't know i don't think they have a high return for me and then this is escada and it was just an older style so i decided to pass i found this really cute skirt and this was like their boutique section so they marked this skirt up a lot and it was pretty crazy so obviously i didn't get that but um this is like another example and it was just i think a zara piece but yeah it was really marked up so was not worth uh, paying up even though that was such a cool print and then this is just some of the items that i didn't um pick up it was a shoshana dress and i think a jenny Yu dress that has some flaws so i decided to leave those items behind this was a very nice patagonia like jacket but it was priced up to i think like 30 dollars so i decided to pass because i just couldn't justify that at the thrift and here are some other items i thought were cool but not really worth paying up at this thrift store because i do have that brandy skirt still in my closet and I'm listening for like $15. That skirt would have been like $8. And these were just some leggings that I found. And I did find this men's Ted Baker jacket. I just thought it was an older style. So I decided to leave that. Okay, so it has been a couple of days and I'm finally sitting down to show the haul and I'm so excited because I didn't really pick up a lot of things but I did find some decent pieces to share with you guys. Definitely let me know if you guys want to see like a separate um, what to shop for spring or what to shop for myself but let's just go ahead and get started. So I actually spent the most on two items and they were baby items because I just thought they were so cute and you know I'm just going to start collecting them. I have no purpose for them right now but hopefully someday I can let my child wear this or I'll gift it to someone but these were the two items and this first piece is so cute it looks like this so it's just a puffer vest and it's like a metallic gold this one is actually by epic threads i think and i looked this up and it was sold at macy's this is a 4t i don't remember the retail but this is reversible so this is the other side so stinking cute and it is a soft like pink color super adorable this i spent i think 12.99 and that was like the most i spent um on that trip and the other one, I felt like it was a sign because I actually found this 
before and I didn't pick it up. It was the exact jacket. So I had to get this and this is what it looks like. So it's just adorable pink um, leather jackets. I don't know if it's real or not, but it's by Outdoor Habitat. This is a 2T and the back has this little patch right there. I just couldn't because this is so cute and I am currently obsessed with pink. So um, I had to pick that up and this was $9.99. So next I picked up this cute dress and this is actually by English Factory so I actually sold this already on my whatnot show and I'm going to have to ship this out I'm very glad that it's going to a new home I think I sold this for $20, $20 and I picked this up for maybe like $8 but it is just a beautiful dress and you guys this is already amazing puff sleeves I love puff sleeves and it is a color block style mini dress so that is so fun I actually wanted to keep this for myself because it's in the size medium and you know thought this would be perfect for Valentine's Day but this um, actually also has pockets so that is the best part so fun I was trying to find some things that I could pick up to sell on my whatnot show because Valentine's Day is really close and this was such a perfect piece to add to that show so I'm very happy that it sold and the that wasn't a big profit but I just made a really fast sale so I was just happy with that and next up I also did sell this so some of these items I did sell already this is a free people tunic and it looks like a dress it's like this gauze kind of material or style and I love the texture so it is very oversized for a small and I love this so it has that cute little ruffle detail right there there are pockets as well so that is amazing i also wanted to keep this for myself but i did sell this i don't remember how much i sold it for maybe like 15 to 20 dollars but again i picked this up for around eight dollars it was a nice little fast sale okay this next piece is something that i wanted to keep but i thought you know why not try it out on whatnot first and if it doesn't sell I'll keep it for myself because it didn't really have a high resale value on Posh and that was very interesting to me because it is by Woolrich and Woolrich is a pretty great brand this was a blanket shawl and I just again love it because it is pink so this was perfect for my show so it just looks like this and it's just like a nice little plaid print it is just a very nice wrap so let me put it on so that you guys can see but look how soft and cozy this material is so so soft and it's nice to just lay and lounge around in or wear this out and I thought this was so cute I picked this up I think they mistaken this for a scarf which I'm not mad about and I got this for maybe like $1.99 or something like that so I did sell this for at least $15 I don't remember exactly I would try to put it on the screen if I do remember but it was a really nice piece so I'm glad that it's going to a new home even though I probably would have kept this for myself you guys i forgot to put my little cute pillow so i'm just going to leave it there even though it looks a little awkward but this next piece is actually for myself so i always wanted a pair of shorts like this and it is just a small pair of shorts super cute this is by nasty gal in the size medium and hopefully this will fit but it's just a knit pair of shorts just you know something nice to lounge in and I love loungewear so I did also get this piece I was surprised that this fit me because this is H&M in the size extra small and this is the item that is causing the lint everywhere but this is just a nice pair of like fuzzy gray pair of I guess wide leg or kind of like a straight leg pair of pants and I saw some people wearing this and it looks so cozy so I wanted to get a pair for myself but so happy I found this at the thrift and it's perfect for my length because I'm only 5'2 and I always have trouble finding cozy and just pants in general because they're usually so long but this is perfect and I'm so excited to wear this this is going to get a lot of use then this is another piece that I thought was super cute. This is just a basic dress. This is for myself. Um, I think this is vintage. I don't know what this 
it's by Maui Waui. So that's such a cute name. Um, but it's just probably a beach piece. It's a navy little short mini dress and it's stretchy as well. I love this little white trim because it looks very sporty so i thought this would be a super cute in the spring and summertime i also picked up this l.l bean men's plaid jacket it is amazing so it's just a very long piece it has this color scheme on it and it is lined on the inside super soft this is an extra large tall and I have no reason to buy this, but I think I got this half off. I saw comps selling this around $70, 60 to $70. So I thought it would be a great pickup. And I just can't leave a jacket behind. I love plaid. And this is just a really nice quality piece. So it is longer. And, you know, I thought about keeping this to wear. But I will probably list this. And then lastly, I think you guys did see this, but this dress is so cute. It just reminded me of like a very cottage core dress. So I was really happy. This is a new to me brand. This is what the dress looks like. First of all, gorgeous. It's white with like some light blue details. I hope that you guys can see it. This is like the skirt portion of the dress. So a bunch of cute flowers on it and I love this this is actually by Ivy City in a size medium I think this brand is like a mommy and me kind of uh, style where you can match with your uh, child or something I think I'm not sure but when I looked up some of these dresses were selling for over a hundred dollars so I was very excited and this is honestly such a cute dress that I probably I definitely would have still picked this up because it's such like I love this style so much so this is very exciting um, on my trip because otherwise these were some just nice pickups but nothing super crazy and I feel like this really completed my trip I am trying to be a little bit more selective because I have been spending a lot buying items to resell online and so I haven't been to the thrift stores in a while I am just happy to have made this video for you guys before I would always go to the thrift store at least like once or twice a week but I haven't gone in weeks maybe even like a month thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are doing well let me know how this new year is going going for you guys and your reselling business and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!